Friends, viewers and subscribers, today's beer review is a special edition. Before I begin, I'm just showing you the unboxing and then I'll be going straight on to reviewing this. And uh, as far as I'm aware, this is the first ever uh, video of this on YouTube, so happy days. This is Duvel Barrel Aged Batch Number 3. So when we look at the box, it will tell you there. It's a big 750 and it's 11.5. It's batch number 3. Um, it's uh, in a nice looking box as well with lots of fake wood lines and the Duvel seal of approval there with barrel aged. Um, right, so when we turn this round, this is where the information comes from. So it's basically matured in American oak barrels. As you can see there, it is a limited edition, so that's how many they've made. Um, there's your hops, so SARS, SARS and Sterling Golding. It's aged aged perfection uh, served at 8 degrees and that's the number I have I have number 351 um, and I can't read the rest because it's in a different language presumably Flemish as we go up nice little touch there with the um, what looks like a, an egg timer but it's actually two Duvel glasses standing on top of each other with the frame around it like an egg glass or hourglass there's your fake wood and again nicely etched into it, aged to perfection and as we spin it round it's massive, this really is um, <laughs> tells you pretty much a little bit more information there but I can't read any of it and it just confirms what we already know basically and on the back there you have some writing in various different languages but there's our language of English so it says the captivating taste Evolution is due to two important factors. The oak barrel charred on the inside delivers a smoky vanilla flavour, and the wood is also infused with the original bourbon, which deprives sensational flavour, development of caramel notes. So what we know about this already, it's going to taste like caramel and um, bourbon, because it is aged in bourbon barrels. And again, there we have just the Duvel barrel. Oh, there we go. It's uh, telling you there, slightly tingling Duvelish mouthfeel with mighty hints of bourbon, vanilla and caramel. So already this has ruined it for me. But it's telling me what it tastes like. Nice little artwork there with Duvel barrel on fire. And again as we can see on the side here, etched into it is exactly the same. They've really gone to town with this. Um, I'm going to open this and I'm going to show you exactly what this is. Um, and then we'll be tasting it uh, in just a moment. But for the meantime I'm just going to open this up. So just bear with me. I'm just going to plonk you down while I do this. I'm just merely getting this outside of the box now. So nothing important. Uh, I hope we can see this. Yep, we can. Alright, so all I've done is just opened it like so. Real flap. With layers and layers of cardboard. But this is the, this is the best bit, fans. Wriggle this bastard out. Uh, why is it? It's stuck on there. Okay, right, so huh. here we have um, what looks like layers of cardboard. It's just in some weird configuration. Very, very packaged well. If I spin it round on the opposite side, you can see Look at that. And again, so. The two hell is inside that, as we can see, on top. How do we open this? Well, it's simple. I say it's simple, but it's probably not with one hand. Um, <laughs> yeah, so this is the side you want. See these little slats here, one and two. Just push these forward. I think it's these ones. Yep, see that? It just pops open. And you do the same for this one. Ah, you shithead. Nearly cut myself there on cardboard. Please be careful. Um, then you have to spin this round. So let me just do that quickly. You see there that that comes down. You see that that comes down like so. just so as you can see so now it looks like that and you can see why we unplugged the bits there because it's all in in there it helps it 
Stops it nice and secure. So now I'm going to flip it round one more time. Hopefully we should be releasing what we've all been waiting for. There you go. Uh, if I lift that up. There you go. And now sits in there is your barrel. Take that fucker out. But look at that. Detail that that's gone. That's just incredible, isn't it? All the effort for that. Madness. So just throw that to one side and here we have what we've been looking for. This is Duvel barrel aged and again we can see the striking colours on there. Uh, batch number 351 as we know. American oak as we know. Served at 8 degrees as we already know. 11.5 we already know. Um, a little bit more. Oh yeah, that's just repeating what is already on the box, so we can ignore that. <laughs> Look at that. Bottom number 00286. Hang on a minute, I said, what was mine? I said mine's batch number 351, so mine is number 286. And it's batch number 351, so that's pretty cool. Didn't, didn't realise that. Um, oh, there you go, Look, barrel originating from Kentucky. It's already won gold in Belgium for the Beer Awards. Even though it's not even, well, I don't know. Um, again, with the details, lovely. Um, you can also see here as well, like the little emblem that's etched in, nicely done. I think this is all the way around as well. Yes, it is. But, unfortunately, it's not corked fans. It is just the cap of the red or the white D. And it just says barrel, Duvel barrel aged around the top there I don't think I can pick that up yes I can I've got it so there you go fans that is the unboxing of uh, the Duvel barrel aged batched number three and now we're going to go on to the actual beer review itself so hope you enjoyed the unboxing and stay tuned because I will now be sampling this beauty and telling you exactly what I think of it happy days till then join me in a moment fans viewers subscribers today is a special special beer review so special in fact it is the only review here on youtube um what am i talking about i'm talking about the holy fucking grail fans before i get into this review uh, a massive shout out goes to jake um who wanted me to shout him out in this video don't blame him because this is a fucking decent beer uh, well, hopefully it's going to be here. I've never had it, but, you know. Um, yeah, this is Duvel Barrel Aged, batch number three. As you see in the clip just a moment ago, um, I did the, um, the unboxing, so you'll see exactly what it looks like, and you probably already have if, you've, you, know, if you can be bothered. What we know about this is this is the third year in a row they've done this. Um, I've been following it for a while, but I've never got around to actually trying it because it was so hard to get. So I've missed out on barrel age number one and number two, but here I am, so third time lucky for me. This has already won, apparently, World Beer Awards Gold in Belgium, so already we're decent, you know. Aged and fermented in bourbon barrels from Kentucky, good old USA. Uh, I'm not sure if this um, this, this can be re-fermented, but I'll look at that in just a moment. They are limited edition, so they're very hard, few and far between, but hopefully... Um, you know, hopefully they're, they're still going and I'm hoping that, you know, people will get to try this. Um, cost me a lot of money. 30, about 35 quid this cost me. Yeah, 35 quid. So, fuck it, it better be worth the bloody money, I tell you, I will not be happy. There's your cap. A uh, bit disappointed, actually, I was hoping it'd be corked, but it's not. Big 750ml. This comes in at 11.5%. Uh, where are we? I've already shown it on the box, but just for you fans, there you go, 11.5%. Right. Oh, I've been waiting for this moment all my life. I don't know where that was going. I really don't. Don't ask me. Look at that. I mean, that is odd. That don't even look like Duvel. That is freaky. Just an orange glowing mass. No head on it. What the fuck is this? Yeah. No head, there's just a gentle stream from the etching, there's no head. Oh god. Watery looking, oh no. Um, fantastic colour, reddy, orange. 
there's lots of different colours in that, you know, it, it looks caramelly, do you know what I mean? It's just a lot of different colours in that. Very clear, you can see through it. Wow. Um, <laughs> so, Duvel that's been basically put in a bourbon barrel. Limited edition. Oh my god, it smells. I can smell this from here. Wow, you can really smell that. Oh, you can smell the bourbon. Oh, yeah, you can smell the bourbon. It's almost got like a caramel char characteristic to the smell on the aromas. Hints of wood. Yeah, it smells pretty decent. I don't know how this is going to taste. There are um, thingies about this, so people have tried this, and there are reviews on uh, Rate Beer and things like that, and Untapped, but they've all given it good reviews and good marks. But here today marks the first on a YouTube first. Um, this is the first and the only, well, I don't know if it'd be the only review, but this is certainly the first beer review for this here on YouTube, so I will drink to that. Hopefully you, you will too. Right, let's crack on. <coughs> Shit in hell. <laughs> oh, that's got a fucking kick to that. Oh, it's made my eyes water. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that. Oh. Oh, God, that is strong. It's very intense flavours. Wow. It's a bit sweet. It's weird because you have the standard Duvel mouthfeel. So you get the standard Duvel mouthfeel, which I like. It's quite, despite what it looks like, it's fairly carbonated. Strong alcohol hit all the way. You don't get it initially. It's this really sweet taste to it. It's almost like um, a, not quite a syrup, but it's very sweet. You then get this burn from the throat to the chest. Just lights up like a, like a whiskey. You can taste the bourbon. The bourbon is... Oh, quite apparent. It's very, very sweet. Apparently, there's hints of vanilla in this, which I'm not getting because my taste buds have been fried by the uh, bourbon taste. The aftertaste is again, I'd say, probably the best bit. It, it goes into like a mellow. Oh man, it's really burning. Goes into like a mellow bourbon taste, but I'm not getting any vanilla. Supposedly, what they said. I mean, I've got rid of the box now because I, you know, I've got to make room. But um, yeah, I guess, I guess this is why they got the flames because you know you can really, really taste that alcohol burn. And fuck me, is there a burn? Um, I've got batch number three hundred and fifty-one. They use American oak and uh, Kentucky bourbon barrels as well. Again, it's been aged. I, I, I don't get the vanilla. I get a little bit of caramel. I don't really get the charred um, thing that they are on about the charredness to it. It's just bourbon dominated. And it's a shame because I think, you know, I'm not a big lover of this. I, I like the idea, but I don't think it's for me. I'm not saying it's, it's a shit beer, but it, it's one that... Oh god, you've got to get used to. I, I, I certainly will have a problems probably getting more of this, definitely, but and for the price as well. When it's in the mouth, you get a very nice, sweet, almost sherry, cherry sweetness to it, which of course is the bourbon. You then get the burn. Mouth feels quite gentle as well, smooth, soft, very well carbonated. Um, I'm just a, a little bit disappointed that A, there's no head on this, and two, I just want a little bit more flavour. So it might just be me at the first appearances of tasting this, it might just be that you know I, I need to really take time to appreciate it because some beers are like that, you know, you first try them and you're like, wow, that's too strong. This, on the other hand, might mellow out the more I drink it. So I've got a lot to drink, fans. This is a big, big bastard of a bottle. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and remix this shortly. Oh, God. I don't... I've got a lot in there, so... 
tell you what, here we go friends, fuck it, I'm going to do this right, let's see if we can remix, if this is a true Duvel, and I hope it is, we can remix, hopefully this will change the flavour and take away some of that bourbon, because that bourbon's lethal, I'm not joking fans, it's bloody strong, I'm used to strong beers, but this flavour department's knocked it out of the ballpark, 11.5% is not a problem for me, but it's just the fact that it's the bourbon, it's just powerful stuff. Give it a bit of a shake in there as well, just for good measure. Right, let's see if the remixing's worked. It may, may not change colour, I don't know. I'm hoping it's going to change the taste. That's what I'm looking at. Let's see if I can get a bit in there. You hear that fizzing? made a little bit of difference to the colour, not hugely. I think what we have is a bit more toned down, would you say? Does that look more darker to you? Because that certainly looks darker to me. I mean, I'm just going to go ahead and just continue to remix this. Right. It looks a little bit darker. Again, the head's just gone. You see it fizzing up and it's just phew, gone. Right. I won't bother with the smell on this one, so straight for the taste. I'm not joking, that actually has done what I wanted it to do. This is more drinkable now. Okay, this is a lot more drinkable. You don't get the alcohol burn. The bourbon is now very, very less. It's there, but it's less. I can see I've got more flavour coming through now. I'm getting a I am getting a slight hint of vanilla on that. Mostly again the bourbon. There's an aftertaste of like a sweet, almost like a boiled sweet taste. Mm, that's a lot more palatable even on the tongue I'm getting something else I don't know quite how to explain it but there's a, there's another flavor there which I can't I can't decipher what it is but it's almost like um almost like a richness that's at the same time gentle so I prefer this remixed hands down hands down wow there you go fans Duville batch number three gonna go again let's do this again batch number three was it worth the 35 pound I paid um I don't know I think I would yeah, actually do you know what I would say yes it is worth the 33 35 pound whatever fuck yeah 35 pound definitely worth the 35 pound I spent on this you know it's an experience to say the least it's not my favorite I would pick normal duvel over this any day of the week <coughs> But I like what Duvel have done. I like that they've pushed boundaries, they've gone for something different, and it's it's different. You often hear about certain beers doing these these tricks of the trade, but actually, um, I, this this takes it to a new level, it really does. <clears throat> so yeah, for that reason, I would score this probably as a novelty ten. But I'm not doing it for novelty purposes. I'm doing it for the beer. So I can be honest, and I'd probably only give this about. Sad to say, I'd say about a seven, seven and a half. Um, yeah, I'd say seven and a half, purely because when you remix it, it's better. So, okay, so much. I'm enjoying that a bit more now. So there you go, fans. I know this has been an extremely long beer review, and I do apologise um, for the length of this review. But hey, this is the first review on YouTube. Well, there you go. Uh, I've now got to drink this. Happy days. Good job it's a Saturday evening here at the time of this. So fans, just before I sign off, remember, like, comment, subscribe. If you want to shout out, let me know and I'll do that. Join me on Facebook at Ruku's Beer. And also, if you want to send me some beer, please, please do. Because I look forward to trying new beers all the time. So give me what you've got and uh, I'll review it and give you a shout out as well. Because I'm kind like that. Don't forget fans, share my videos also. Um, until next time, for some more beer reviews.